Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to run various DISMs, otherwise known as Deployment Imaging and Servicing Management. So if you're unable to run error checking scans and your system is still either corrupted or system files have been modified to a point in which they are corrupted, these commands should hopefully be able to resolve your guy's issue. So this could either be done through the command prompt or PowerShell uh, with slight modifications of course. Um, I will be going through the command prompt because I think that's what most people are more comfortable with. So just jumping right into it, we're going to right click on the start button and then we're going to left click on command prompt admin. You have to have administrative privileges in order to perform the actions we're about to do. So you want to left click on yes. So when we run this cleanup image tool, it will actually save some log files to the system. So before I even do any of that, I will have the path to the logs in the description of this video. So anyway, once we have the command prompt open, I'm going to run the first tool within the DISM package, which would be the check health command, which will help determine if an image has been flagged as corrupted or whether or not the corruption could be repaired. This is usually a preliminary scan or check. It's not actually going to fix anything, but it's a good first step to try. So I've already pasted the commands I'm going to be using in this tutorial on a notepad file. So I'm just going to actually paste it in. I will have it on the screen of this video while it's running, as well as in the description of this video. So just to speed up the video a little bit. So I'm going to hit enter on the keyboard. It should be pretty quick. This will probably be the quickest of the three scans we're going to run here today. Okay, like I said, it was pretty quick. It says no component store corruption detected. The operation completed successfully. Um, that's usually a good sign. So at this point, if we are so convinced we have error or corruption within our computer, we can run the scan health utility which will actually scan our system image for component store corruption. So again, this won't actually fix any corruption, but it will store any issues you might have detected into the log file. Again, the log files paths will be in the description of this video. So let me just paste this thing in. I'm going to hit enter and there we go now it's starting to run. This will take a few moments. I typically find this does take a few minutes so once this is done I will be right back. Back on the video pretty quickly I just want to let you guys know it might be stuck at the 20% mark for a little bit so don't be concerned that it's not running. Do not close out of the command prompt at this point just keep it open it'll just hang at 20% for a little bit. So again, once this is done, I will be right back. Hello everyone, I'm back. So I accidentally um, started running the next scan and I thought the recording was on, which it was not. So basically it said it was 100% complete. And at that point, we are ready to go run a restore health scan. This will actually scan your image for specific store corruption and it should automatically repair operations and record the corruption that it finds into the log file I mentioned earlier. So I have that right here. And I'm going to paste it in and it should be also rolling on the screen as well as in the description of this video and I'm typing in right here. I'm going to hit enter again. Now this will take another 15 to 20 minutes like the previous scan and it will hang around 20% complete. So just give it some time and just let it run. And then after this, I do have one other thing. If all else fails, we will explore that option once the scan is complete and I will be right back. The Restore Health did finish scanning. It does automatically record the corruption if there is any to the log file. And like I said earlier, it did take about 20 minutes to run. So once you're done doing that, hopefully your issue has been resolved. However, there are still further steps we could go with this in order to resolve your issue. But at that point, it would be 
kind of complex and for most people it would be easier just to restore your computer if you had a system image or if you had some way to back it up or a USB flash drive with Windows 10 on it. I would recommend almost at that point just to restore back to an earlier version of Windows then try and play around with this because it will it definitely will not be very straightforward. So I'm gonna end the review here on that note. Um, you can refer to the log files if you have further issues and if you wanted to share them with anybody online and or anybody who would be more knowledgeable in order to help resolve that issue for you. But I am not going to move forward in this tutorial with that. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.